to draw a Lewis structure for ammonia using Mr. Gooch's patented surefire way to draw Lewis structures. Mm -hmm. And the first thing he has us do is the same step that I taught you. Figure out how many valence electrons there are. So we're going to list valence electrons. How many valence electrons does nitrogen have? You must have your periodic table out for this. Five. Melissa, five. So we have nitrogen with five valence electrons. How many nitrogens do we have? One. How many nitrogens do we have? One. one. Just one. Okay. And we have hydrogen. How many valence electrons does hydrogen have? One. one. And how many hydrogens do we have? Three. Three. So that gives us three. So we have a total of eight valence electrons. Okay. This is a neutral molecule, so we don't need to add any for charge, so we're good. Now, what Mr. Gooch has us do is figure out how many electrons everything in this compound would like. He calls it the octet electrons. So, octet electrons. Nitrogen would like to have how many? So remember, everything except hydrogen and boron would like to have eight. Nitrogen would like to have how many? Eight. Why eight? And we have one nitrogen. Hydrogen is one of our weirdos. How many would hydrogen like? Two. Just two, please. Remember, because if hydrogen gets two, it looks like helium. So hydrogen wants two. There are three hydrogens. That gives us six. Wait, do you know what one wants to look like helium? It it wants to have a total of two. So yes, it needs it needs to share one to get to that two. Okay. So that gives us fourteen what he calls octet electrons. This is where the magic occurs. This is the coolest method ever. So if you take, well, okay, we'll do this down here. If you take the octet electrons and subtract the valence electrons that it already has, what you get are a number that he calls your bonding electrons. Okay? These are, in essence, what's going to end up being shared. So here we have 14 octet electrons minus 8 valence electrons. We would expect to see 6 electrons being shared here. Okay. If we take, so we'll come back up here. Take the number of bonding electrons and divide by 2. That gets us the number of bonds. This is kind of magic, really. So here we have 6 divided by 2. We should see 3 bonds in this thing, in this structure. Well, let's, let's check. So we have a nitrogen. If we had nitrogen single bonded to each of those hydrogen, that's what that would look like. There's one thing we haven't done yet, though. We haven't looked at electrons that are not being shared, which we call what? Unshared, unshared electrons, unshared pairs, sometimes called lone pairs or unbonded pairs. So what Mr. Gooch has us do is subtract the bonding electrons from the valence electrons. So, oops. Valence electrons minus bond electrons equals unshared. So here we have 8 minus 6 gives us two unshared pairs. Well, hydrogen can't take them. Where do they go? Whoop, whoop. And guess what, folks? That's the structure for ammonia. We're going to practice a couple more of these, and then you'll have time to practice some on your own, too. 
All right, let's do one that we did on Friday. Can I erase this? Questions on this? It hurts? Your head hurts? Okay. You know what? We're going to break this into two videos.